These last few months, I've started doing something that I've never done before. I started doing something that's completely new to me, something that I really struggle to do, and it has changed my entire life. It's completely changed my outlook on things. It's completely changed the way that I do things, the way that I see things. It has made me feel more fulfilled, more satisfied, have more of a sense of direction in life, and really, really like taken me out of a rut and put me on the right path and made my goals and where I want to go a lot clearer books. At the start of 2019, I set myself a goal and that goal was to read one book a month and I failed it. I couldn't even manage a book a month. I couldn't do it. I'm not naturally a good reader. I'm pretty sure I'm dyslexic. I definitely have ADHD. This is how I went from struggling to read a book a month, failing at reading a book a month, to being able to read a book a week, absorb the information, take it in and allowing it to absolutely change the way that I see things, the lens in which I view the world, give me more clarity in my life, a better sense of fulfillment and improve Prove every single aspect of my life. There is a correlation between how well people do in life and how many books they are reading. The average person reads one to two books a year, whereas the average high performer or average CEO reads up to four to six books per month. So there is an incredibly strong correlation. You can learn anything from books. You can learn, you can literally download someone's mindset, download someone's psyche, download someone's entire life work in a matter of days if you apply yourself to a book and if you immerse yourself in it. We go to the gym, we train our bodies, we exercise, we get better physically, but then we neglect our brains. We neglect these mental muscles, these things that actually determine the entire outcome of our life. We neglect them, we don't put knowledge in them, and at the end of the day, you can improve your mindset, you can improve the way you see the world, you can make your life better and really transform into something amazing if you allow yourself to, to read books and take in the knowledge and really apply yourself to becoming better. If you're unwilling to completely change your life, through sacrificing a couple of hours of, of your week if you want to read a book a month, even less than that, then uh, get off this video. You're a fucking idiot. But you got to understand that knowledge is power and you can completely change your life and learn absolutely everything and adopt these mindsets and be around these people and really, really grow your beliefs and become less reactive, become a better person with a sense of fulfillment and a clear-cut path through reading books. So knowledge is power. There's this link between high performers and how well they're doing and the amount of books they read. And I have seen firsthand how reading has completely transformed people's lives. Friends that I've known since day one are now multi-fucking millionaires. And one of the main things, the main shifts that they did in terms of their attitude, in terms of their routine, was they did things like reading a book a week. I know Eman in particular, I'm actually wearing his merch right now. Eman went from, I knew him as a little 16 year old kid when he was doing videography work and flipping Instagram accounts. He went from that into having a multi million pound seven figure business and one of the top three things he said that's responsible for his mindset shift and being able to do these things was reading what are the main things that have happened since i've been reading a book a week what have i most noticed about the changes in my life the changes in my personality number one is better language i have a larger vocabulary i'm able to see things from other people's perspectives better i'm more empathetic clear-cut goals more clarity in my life and most importantly i have a better or a greater sense of purpose and a greater sense of fulfillment the types of books that i've read have really put me on the right track, made me evaluate what I want to do in my life, where do I want to be, who do I want to help, what legacy do I want to leave behind. These wonderful like bits of text and things that you're reading will gradually begin, this knowledge will absorb into your brain and you will begin to recite it and you'll begin to live live the book. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time around. Uh, environment di dictates performance. What you put in your mind is going to be absorbed, it is going to make a difference. So if you're reading like motivational, inspiring books telling you, telling you what to do and how to live a better life and hundreds of years of research, it is gonna go in and it is gonna improve your life profoundly, dramatically. It's improved social interactions. I'm a better listener, I have better connections to my friends, I'm more empathetic, better connections to my family. There's a book I just read called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and it talks about something called empathetic listening. So it's where you listen from a point of empathy rather than just, uh, every, when people talk, they basically wait for wait for their turn to, turn to reply. They're just thinking about themselves, they want to reply. And it's I've been taught through the book that we do that and that we need to listen with more empathy. I'm a better listener. I'm able to concentrate better. It has taught me that through delaying gratification, not doing things that give me an instant dopamine spike, doing things that I find boring or don't necessarily want to do, I can become passionate about it. If I do these things that I don't want to do that I know I should do, such as sitting down and reading a book for a couple of hours every single day, I'm going to get better and better and better slowly. These marginal gains are going to add up. And then by sticking to this thing that isn't great, by, by eating shit for a while, by by embracing the suck, it is going to pay off in the long run. How does 
did I go from reading a book, or not even a book a month, not even like, how did I go from being a slightly retarded ADHD dyslexic kid to like, not very good at reading, not naturally good at reading. How do I go from that to being able to tear through a book in a week? Number one, the most important thing is read in the morning. Schedule your reading time when you're gonna read, set a time in the morning and read first thing in the morning. So you wanna link this new habit to old habits. So let's say in your morning routine, incorporate it into that. Uh, if you don't really have a morning routine, do it like after breakfast or when you brush your teeth, link it to a really ingrained old habit and then you'll begin to develop this new habit that is reading because you're linking it to an old one. Number two is do not use social media first thing. Like you shouldn't use social media in the morning anyway. These companies spend billions and billions and billions of dollars on making social media as addictive as possible to keep you scrolling. So first thing in the morning, it is terrible to do. It makes you distracted. You can't take as much information in because your mind is elsewhere. A book is just paper. It does not stand a chance against billions and billions and billions of dollars of psychological research and marketing that is social media. Schedule your reading and work out how many pages you need to read per day. So if you're trying to read a book a week or even a book a month, get your book and uh, take the pages and divide them by the amount of days that you want to finish the book in. So I've been reading a book in a week. I'll see how many pages are in the book, divide it by seven, and then I'll have to read that many pages per day. I'll break that into two parts. So I'll do half, like 20 pages in the morning, straight after I meditate, 20 pages at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, I will set an alarm to say, to remind me to read. And uh, I will do that every single day. And I've form the habit of reading at those times. I mentioned meditating. I'm not gonna start preaching to you about meditating because it's something that when I was younger, I was like, oh, that's stupid and always turn my nose up at it. But it's something that, again, a lot of high performers do. People that are absolutely killing it. CEOs, it's got real scientific backing and research behind it. It's good at reducing anxiety. If you've got ADHD, it's incredibly good to help you concentrate. It makes your concentration better and it makes you find the simple things in life like reading books more rewarding. Hack number four, I think it's number four, is classical music. There is scientific literature literature to back up that people who listen to classical music whilst reading have better recall of the stuff that they've read, they're able to concentrate better, and they ultimately take more stuff in. So classical music helps you concentrate really, really, really good. You don't want to be listening to music that's like fast plays or with like vocals in or anything like that because my brain anyway just doesn't work and can't concentrate. I've got a classical playlist called Let Go. I'll put it in the bio down below and that's what I use to listen to when I'm reading. Classical music and use a reading aid. Use a reading aid. I've got one of these, which is a card which came with a wallet that I got from Ridge. Big shout out to Ridge. And uh, I basically just go like this. And it means that your, your eyes aren't looking elsewhere on the page. You're only focusing on the first line. And then you can really smash through and read quickly. What I also do when I read is I only read the inner two thirds of the words. And then I can absolutely smash through stuff quickly and basically speed read. Highlight. I highlight all of my books because there is no point in reading things if you're just going through them, if you're not taking the information and uh, you're not making stuff stand out to you and really, really following through the action that the books are teaching you. But trust me, if you highlight, if you take the time, if you really consider things, imagine you've got to recite, you've got to tell someone about the chapter that you read, you will take it in. I take notes on all my books. At the end of every single week, I make a video on RET where I go over my takings, I go over the key points, the key like most motivational things, the things that really stood out for me from the books that I've read and it just demonstrates or reinforces it into my head. Explain it to other people, explain it to your friends, tell your friends, tell your family about what you've been reading, what you've learned about, because teaching is the best way to get good at something. It's the best way to improve and sharing knowledge just reinforces it and really, really secures it in your head and in your mind. And finally, you wanna think of the bigger picture. You wanna keep the end in mind and think about why are you reading these books? What do you want to do? How is it gonna benefit your life? What sort of person can you become? How, how why are you doing this ultimately? What is your end goal? Who is it going to benefit from you becoming a better person? Your spouse, your partner, your mum, your dad, your girlfriend. Think about who it's going to benefit. Think about who it's going to improve beyond yourself and realize that books, knowledge is power. Books you can get everything from and you can completely transform your life, which will allow you to transform the lives of others. So really take the time and uh, manage your time and realize that everyone has enough time to read. You just got to cut things out from elsewhere. How many hours a day do you spend watching Netflix? How many hours a day do you spend doing pointless tasks, playing video games, whatever it is? I don't really watch Netflix anymore. I used to absolutely binge watch it, but um, just realize that it's a matter of priorities, a matter of how bad do you want it and don't live in this state of denial. Really consider how bad you want something and the impact that you can have on other people. If you guys like this video, let me know down below and I may or may not record or upload one of the 40 minutes taken videos that I've done on one of my all-time favorite books as well, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People to the YouTube channel if you guys want it bad enough. But if not, we'll just leave it on RT. If you do, drop a comment down below and I may upload it. But books, read them, change your life, improve the lives of others around you. 
be a better person, uh, grow, don't be a piece of shit your whole life. And uh, these little things, these bits of trees and bits of paper can completely transform your life. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Peace out. I love you to bits. Thank you. Good night.